Yeah, that. it was a big day. Uh, there were over a third of the school districts in the state of Minnesota had a referendum question on the ballot. And I think we saw uh, a pretty historical average outcome. Uh, about 70% of the uh, referendum questions across the state were successful, which I think uh, continues to show that Minnesotans place a high priority on making sure that their public schools are adequately funded. So what we're seeing here is that Minnesotans are saying that $50 per pupil increase from the last session, that wasn't enough. We need more. You still have cut our funding 13% since 2003. We do not have enough to do what we need to do to give our kids the world-class education that they deserve. About one-third of the school districts of Minnesota went out for a levy referendum, and I think that's an indication that, quite frankly, our funding system is broken. Uh, levy referendums were not made initially to fund basic school aid. The amount of local support we're seeing is really great, but it shouldn't have to devolve down to the local level. We shouldn't have to ask people to increase their own property taxes, these really regressive local taxes, to make up for the fact that the state isn't willing to invest the way that it should. Yeah, you know, I think if you'd ask most Minnesotans, they would prefer that the state really step up and fund education and do a better job of funding education. <laughs>